Let's be honest, an intersection in Montreal has a lot of distractions, and in such a big city with so many of them, it can make intersections a pretty hazardous place, especially for pedestrians and cyclists. But there's a new tool developed by local researchers that can tell us exactly how dangerous an intersection actually is. So I'm here with Owen and Shabnam. They both helped create the traffic hazard model. So Owen, how does it all work? Well, essentially what we wanted to create was a model that could say how much hazard a street creates. So in transport engineering, we have a measure that says how the traffic flows, but there was no measure that would say what's the hazard that a street creates. Waygood says typically when researchers look at traffic danger, the focus is on the number of collisions. But this tool looks at how hazard factors increase the likelihood of a collision even if a collision never took place there. We interviewed uh, children, parents, and then and experts, and so we built the tool not only from, if you will, like a healthy, able-bodied adult's perspective, but really saying like there's vulnerable users that use these streets. How much hazard is there that's being, if you will, that they're being exposed to? The variables researchers use include open source traffic data. If there's trucks, buses, bike paths, driver behavior data, points of interest and we use some kinds of intersection design the type of traffic control if you have any traffic calming measure at intersection level and also the visibility which is very important especially for vulnerable users such as children and uh, senior group all the data they've processed for Montreal intersections has been plotted onto an interactive map there are five categories that indicate an intersections hazard level from safe to very hazardous and when you click on an intersection, the index provides a detailed description of the factors that contribute to its hazard level. So right now we're at the intersection of Eleanor and Barry. Uh, if you click an intersection on the model, uh, it will come up with like a hazard index. Can you just go over what it all means when you click on an intersection and what you see? We start to be, uh, I mean, uh, stressful about traffic danger in these intersections. We don't have any traffic uh, control here, no stop sign and no traffic control. But we have two local streets, not too very big or with uh, lots of number of lanes. So these intersections would be somewhat dangerous. Both Abdullahi and Waygood say the city of Montreal will apply the data to what they consider are vulnerable intersections. We started working the, with the city of Montreal to apply the tool for prioritizing some kinds of safety intervention around the school. The city of Montreal declined our request for an interview, but it confirmed it will start using some of the data and eventually the map tool as well, once it's fully developed. <laughs>